Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I am going to do a video for Brenda. She requested using mixed media, uh, using watercolor first in mixed media and how to use watercolor in mixed media. So I thought we'd kind of play with that for a minute. And um, so I can just show you a few tips, you know, uh, it's fun. You can mix, that's what mixed media is, is mixing different, um, you know, d different kind of mediums, whether it's what, you know, you mix watercolor and acrylic and glitter and glue and, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. Now you can, of course, use your um, Crayola watercolor. You can use, geez, anything you really have that's watercolor if you want to use uh ink tense pencils watercolor pencils whatever i am going to use and you can you know this is just the winsor newton uh watercolor palette it's a palette i got off of amazon it is um it was a little bit expensive but i mean they're nice little size cakes and all uh i am going to be using um, in another video, because we're going to play around a little bit, I have um, the Martha Stewart uh, Soft Gel Watercolor and Plaid Watercolor. So we're going to be playing all around. But for today, this is what we're going to be doing and using. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm just going to win it. And lay that there and then I'm just gonna kind of give this some square now I'm keeping this on my pad it is a Canson watercolor um, pad what size is it I don't even know nine nine by twelve which is like kind of what you get when you go and I'm just squirting it for a minute and of course you can use watercolor brushes and all that kind of stuff, but I do mixed media. So it's nothing that, um, you know, I, I use whatever I have. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't need that. And that's it. And that's all I'm going to do as far as that goes. Can you see? Uh, a little bit of shine it just means that it's wet but what I like to do is uh, let's pick I want to pick two colors that blend into a third color now I want to do blue and yellow so we can get a nice green but I'm wondering if I should do red and yellow let's do red and yellow and I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit more and let's go into this red And I'm just going to kind of lay it like this. And I want the lines to be somewhat thick because I want to mix, you know, other colors with it, I guess, to get the background. And because watercolors are, um, let's see if I can move this up just a little bit to help. Watercolors are... Uh, a great way to you know just to play let the kids play you play don't get too hung up I'm gonna do a little of this red here I'm just kind of ooh, ooh, ooh. but I don't want to have to use so many colors I want to mix you know so I'm just kind of following that and then I'm gonna rinse my brush just because I don't want to necessarily mix colors although if you you see this you see I mix I'm gonna go in with this lighter yellow you can use whatever brush you have, but we'll see how that is blending into orange. Look at that. And I can pull this down if I even want it more. And then I'll go here, get some more, just rinse that brush off. Use a small brush, use a round brush, use a brush. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Sponge brush, you use what you got. Oh, I like that. Let me move this up just a little bit. There we go. Look at that beautiful, that beautiful color. And you can see that it's blending in. 
And if you want it to be even more blended, we will. But look, oh gosh, I love this. That is a bright yellow. Now, of course, because it's wet, it's going to be uh, a little shiny with the lights, but I'm going to let this drip for a second and I'm going to take and look, mixed media, fun. Just a little bit, just to make it run. Look at that. I know. <laughs> Let's lift it up a little bit more. Okay, now something I want you to do is when you're doing this, now you can do this with acrylic paint as well, um, but we're just starting out a easy peasy. I'm going to turn it around this way. And what happens is I'm going to be getting, I'll hold it like this for a second. You see, it's changing the whole, you know, the whole color scheme, the whole way that I looked at it because I was looking at it from this way down. Now I'm going to look at it from here and look at that gorgeous blend. Now I want to do a little purple, um, red and blue make purple, but I don't want blue to become or purple to become like so oversaturated that it ruins it but i need something here and a little bit here so i'm going to go in to this blue and i'm going to dip it you know how i do i dip it both and i'm going to lay this here because i want some green but i'm going to kind of paint it not kind of i always say kind of but i just mean gently a little matte i'm going to go around this yellow And then I'm going to go up here and you can see I have the, it's like made green. And then, hmm, just some blue, more blue. And I'm going to just do like that. It's look, it's loud. It's there. It's proud. It is what it is. And then I see a little bit of white here, a little bit of white here. See what I'm kind of just going in a little bit of the white. Now, I'm going to put that in there. And look how, look at that blue, how it's, look at that. Look how cool that is. Now, obviously this is not ran yet. So I'm just going to squirt, squirt just a little bit on the blue. And I'm going to do it this way and that way. And if you need more water, go ahead. And if you don't have a water bottle, use your brush to get a little bit of water. I like to sometimes do like that because look what it does. And you see now that's like streaking through there and I could turn it this way. It'll help. Now, if you don't have a water bottle, take your paintbrush put it in the water, but really try to get that majority of the water off. And then just don't rub the paint, but rub the top of the, um, you know, your watercolor paper or pad. Now you can see what's happening. Look at that color. So I can make it run. I mean, I, I'm happy with all this different kind of background because it really is it's inspiring and it's like well what can i do well i'm going to show you you know what i mean like this is going to talk to you in a way that it's going to show you what it wants on it now okay my husband's probably downstairs like hills at the door all right so you see that now look how gorgeous now you can see some of this lifted here off now this is probably going to be a poopy color <laughs> literally well, let's do it here yeah see that color it's not it's like brown we, we don't want brown i don't want no brown and some of it will mix to brown but i see this is not the best color so i want a little bit more blue there so i'm going to go in on the tip of my brush and just lay some because i really like that little splotch there and i'm going to go down these sides and you know, if you put your fingers on it, it's going to run a little bit. I think I even want a little bit more red. So you see what we're doing now? We're just going in a little bit. 
I'm going to go in with my darker red right here and just kind of run it. And you can see, look at the orange and like, we didn't even use orange, but it's going to, you know, it's going to play that way. Get some purple, maybe just a little bit in there. And, oh, this is what I love in life. Watch this red here. Look at it. I'm not even doing anything. I'm not turning it down. Now I'm going to make it run a little that way. Look at that. Oh, is that delicious? Okay. Make some run this way. Let's see if I can get some of that blue to run. Yep. There it goes. All right, and you can see, and that's what I'm going to keep it as. That's going to be my background. Very simple. And I've done these before, but I understand, you know, new people. Now, you see, I'm using my uh, heat gun to dry this. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have that, then uh, just leave it dry for a few minutes. It's water, you know, with a little bit of the paint. And even if you use acrylic, it doesn't matter because you're going to, um, it's going to dry fast. I'm just helping it along. I'm just pushing it a little bit, that extra water that's in there. Now, I don't want to necessarily take a paper towel or another piece of uh, watercolor paper and lay it on here because I want these big pops of color. And as we dry it, just because it's just what watercolor does, it's going to um, not be as bright, you know? Which I want to show you. So I'm going to try to dry at least the one side really good. You can see it lightening up, right? And it's pushing some stuff around. It's not a big deal. Now, again, you can use your Crayola watercolors. You can use your, uh, gosh, there's so many. I think Prang is one. Child watercolors. Uh, water, uh, I wouldn't use the wax water-soluble crayons because if they're waxy, I would use those last if you're using them in mixed media, and I would probably do this with acrylic. Uh, watercolor pencils, all that kind of stuff. Derwent ink tents, those are fantastic. Okay, that'll be enough there. Now look, and you can see that it's dry. I, I have a little bit here, which I'm just gonna take a little. But you see, when you do that, you're gonna lift some of that color, which hey, you know what? At the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. It's still a little wet. But you see, look, look how cool, that's just watercolor. Now, that is gonna be your first step. So this video is 13, almost 14 minutes. What I'm gonna do is this is gonna be the first step of the mixed media. And I'm going to um, let this completely dry, but you definitely can see uh, how great this did. And I will start then. Maybe I should do the, maybe I'll do the acrylics next um, or the stamping next. And then, yeah, I'll do a second video just so they're not too long. Cause I know a lot of you like to do this along with me and you know, if you have to let it dry or whatever, and you don't have a heat gun or whatever, you know, that'll help. So yeah, so this is where we're going to end. And then, like I said, the next video will start building up a little bit. But let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you do it. Make sure you look down below in the description for all uh, my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Google, 
all there. And uh, my email as well, where you can send me a picture. And yeah, any questions, of course, leave them down below. You can email me. Either way works for me. And I look forward to seeing what you do. And I will have the next video up. I'll probably do it today. Uh, so they'll both be up. But you'll have your choice, you know, if you want to do this part first or whatever. And yeah, I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And we are just playing. We're having progress before perfection. And yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love you guys so very much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.